right, so this is this EMG NCV, electromyography, electrical muscle test. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Electro, myo muscle, gram test, nerve conduction velocity. If you take somebody's arm, you, know, you can see what a great artist I am, and you stimulate over here and here, and measure over here, and then measure the distance here, and then you do distance equals rate times time. That's how you do a nerve conduction study. That's all it is. So you stimulate here, you stimulate here, you record here, your finger, you measure the difference, and then you determine the velocity, or VT. V. And if you had, let's say, a carpal tunnel syndrome, which is a blockage over here, the signal would be blocked when it got through there, so it would slow down. And that's a real use of this test. This is a real test, and that's the most common use is for carpal tunnel syndrome. If somebody was diabetic and they had disease of all their nerves, it would be slow over here and everywhere. If someone had uh, a gunshot or a stabbed or their arm was uh, crushed in a car accident and there was a big injury here, then the signal wouldn't get through. So th this, this is a real portion of the test. EMG, you take a muscle, take a muscle, we'll call that a muscle, you put a needle in it. It hurts a little, not a lot, but it hurts a needle. And then you measure what the muscle does when it moves and when it's at rest. A normal muscle is quiet <coughs> when it's at rest and noisy when it moves. An abnormal muscle is kind of the opposite. It makes noise when it's at rest, and it doesn't make, it's not completely quiet, but it doesn't make the right noise when it moves. And th this type of, uh, the EMG abnormalities happen in like diseases like a muscular dystrophy, or when, the, uh, when there's really a lot of nerve damage and the muscle starts to wither.